A 19-year-old patient was diagnosed to have lobar pneumonia. He suffered sharp pain in his chest when he coughs and pain in his shoulder. On examination, the physician noted dullness over the right region of the thorax with a pleural rub. Which of the following nerves is most likely involved with pain referral in this patient? So this patient is having pneumonia that is affecting the lower lobe of the lung. It's affecting this lobe of the lung. And this pneumonia seems to have also involved the pleura as well. That's why the patient is having a pleural rub. In addition to that, there is pain. This pain is in the shoulder, or it is referred to the shoulder, actually. To answer this question, we need to remember the nerve supply of the pleura. The visceral pleura that is applied to the, directly to the lung, it has no somatic innervation, it is not sensitive to pain. And the parietal pleura, it is the pleura that is sensitive to pain. The costal part of the pleura, the parietal pleura, that is related to the ribs, in addition to the peripheral part of the diaphragmatic pleura, are supplied segmentally by intercostal nerves. The mediastinal pleura and the central part of the diaphragmatic pleura are supplied by the phrenic nerve. And it seems here that it is this pleura that is being involved and is causing the pain because the phrenic nerve is a branch of the cervical plexus and it is derived from three of the cervical nerves, C3, 4, and 5, but it is mainly derived from C4. It is the same spinal nerves here, the C3 and C4, that give rise to the supraclavicular nerves. And these supraclavicular nerves, they supply the skin of the shoulder region. Please remember that the skin over the shoulder region is the, belongs to dermatome C4 because it's supplied by supraclavicular nerves. So the dermatome here is the dermatome of C4, and it is the same spinal nerve that supplies the sensory innervation of the skin over the shoulder region. It is the same spinal nerve supplies or receives pain sensations from the mediastinal pleura and the central part of the diaphragmatic pleura. That's why pain arising from this pleura might be referred the patient might feel it as if it is arising from the shoulder. Now let's look at the options. Pulmonary plexus, this is a wrong option. The pulmonary plexus is located at the hilum of the lung and it is formed by sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers. And these sympathetic parasympathetic fibers, they supply smooth muscle fibers of the blood vessels, the smooth muscle fibers of the bronchial tree. And they are not involved in the sensory innervation of the parietal pleura. This pulmonary plexus is formed by sympathetic fibers and by the vagus nerve. Parasympathetic fibers, the vagus nerve that passes behind the root of the lung, supplies parasympathetic fibers. So both options A and B are invalid. Intercostobrachial nerve, this is the lateral cutaneous branch of the second intercostal nerve. And this supplies, it doesn't supply the shoulder, it supplies the axilla actually, the skin over the axilla and the upper part of the medial side of the arm is supplied by the intercostobrachial nerve and has no relation in the pain transfer in this condition. Phrenic nerve is the correct answer because the phrenic nerve supplies the pleura and is derived from the same spinal nerves that are involved in the innervation of the skin over the shoulder. A recurrent laryngeal nerve has no relation here. The current laryngeal nerve, actually, it is motor to the muscles of the larynx and it is sensory to the larynx below the level of the vocal cords. It plays no role in the innervation of the pleura or the innervation of the skin over the shoulder. So in cases of pleurisy that might be referred to the shoulder, then it is the phrenic nerve that is involved in this pain referral because it is mainly derived from spinal nerve C4 and because the skin over the shoulder has the dermatome of C4.